And uh, now uh, our next guest is uh, Tove Alström. She's uh, climate reality leader with over 15 years of experience working with sustainability and until recently the head of sustainability at Apotea, a Swedish online pharmacy. And Tove, you will talk about how and why facing out microplastic is a good idea. Welcome. Thank you. Thank you very much. So Tove, you have really worked hands-on to get rid of microplastics. How bad are they? Yeah, it's, it's really bad out there in the oceans. Uh, it's full of plastics. And uh, in the, s the near future, there will be more plastic than fishes in the sea. So, and what's really bothering is, is that microplastics is such a small part of plastic that fishes think that it's plankton. So they eat it as yeah. it's food. So uh, that's very, very bad. And when they enter the fish, they enter the food chain. It's easy to say food chain, but you really, m most people eat fish yeah. also, so you get into your, your own body further on. Yes. Uh, so <coughs> when do we, uh, eating fish, yeah, but yeah. when do we come in, in contact with microplastics? Yeah, uh, that was, I mean, microplastics have uh, approximately 67 different names, so they are really hard to keep track of. Mm. Uh, and what I found out when I worked at the pharmacy was that they are very commonly used in, in uh, cosmetic products. Why? Uh, yeah, they could be like uh, exfoliating for exfoliate your skin, but also for feeling nice. They have a lot of different kind of uh, areas where, why they are used. But we put them in there. We can also take them out. So, I mean, for, for normal consumers to know all these 76 different microplastics, it's even hard for me to remember them all. Yeah, and we, we spoke before and you, you learned me that mm. there are a lot of microplastics in, in a lot of lipsticks. Yes. Did not know. No. no. Uh, but h how did you manage to face them out? Because you did. Yeah, no, it was kind of easy. <laughs> we had 17,000 products. And then I asked the IT department to just give me a list of the products and then on the, uh, also the ingredient list. Yeah. And then I just searched and marked the products that contained uh, microplastics. Uh, and then I just told the purchasing department to not buy them anymore. And then the interesting work started uh, to, to communicate with the suppliers, asking them, I see that you have, I, I assume that you have microplastic here. And they were like, no, no, this is not exfoliating products. And they lied. Oh, no, this is not a microplastic. Only polyethylene is a, a microplastic. So the awareness was very low mm. uh, regarding microplastics. But what happened next after uh, you took this decision to... Yeah, no, I mean, we faced them out, 230 products uh, finally left our assortment. And after like six months, they actually started coming back oh, because yeah? the suppliers, they took the microplastic out. And that was really the, the nice part of it all. That's great. That's yeah. great. Thank you so much, Tove. Some scientists are indicating we should make plans to adapt to a four degree hotter world. Business as usual means about four degrees warmer, which is approximately one ice age in the opposite direction. Based on today's temperatures, we are going to hit two meters of sea level rise, no matter what. We are in a race against time. It takes a double whammy to understand. It takes repeated shocks. We need a global movement that demands real change. We don't have time to speculate. We don't have time is absolutely correct. As we know, we don't have time. There's no more time. Yes, we don't have time. We use the hashtag. We don't have time. We don't have much time. We don't have time to wait.